Asclepius was educated by Chiron, one of the most mysterious and most ancient uh, of the Titan era uh, demigods in Greek mythology. He was educated by Chiron. Chiron means the hand. Chiron was a white centaur. A centaur is half horse, half human. Not only that, but the centaurs were masters of the bow and arrow. The phrase four horsemen, here's where, here's where, here's where some of my Christian brothers are going to get real twisted. The phrase, the four horsemen of the apocalypse is not found anywhere in the Bible. It is a Christian eschatological description of the four horses and the four seals of the apocalypse. But the term four horsemen is not in the Bible. It's what we call that passage in the Bible. It's in Bible commentaries. It's in many books of the Bible, but it's not. And there's a reason for that. Because the first horseman doesn't even have a rider. The first horseman is a centaur. This is what the Greek revealed. Remember, I read the Greek text to you guys. The word rider was injected into the English in the authorized King James Version, 1611. But the Greek doesn't have the word rider at all. So, yeah, in Greek, the word writer is interjected into the translations, but it's not in the Greek. I just read the Greek to you. The word writer was not there. The first horseman is most likely Apollo as a centaur. What does this mean to us? It means the first horseman if it's also identifying an individual, it's identifying a hybrid. Take that where you want to, but we're not done. Because in the medical profession, for over a thousand years, in the medical profession, doctors had to say the Hippocratic Oath. Hippo in Greek means horse. The Hippocratic Oath began with, I swear by Apollo the physician. That's how the Hippocratic Oath starts. Ask anybody you know who's in the medical profession. Ask any doctor and they'll tell you. That's how the very beginning of the invocation of the Hippocratic Oath begins. I swear by Apollo the physician. Just can't make this stuff up, guys. Just can't do it.